Pretty good there. I'll go up in the other one. Don't worry about it. We got it. That's all matters. As soon as he gets that, we'll go right up that back wall and just start going back and forth. His name's Darren, the one running the hose, so. Don't leave it running and just start over there. You just leave it running. Just go over. Yeah. All right, well, that took about a half an hour to get, you know, that clamp on, get the pipe unplugged, and get this thing going. I've, I've never had that many problems on a pump job before. I mean, once in a great while, the the line will plug up, and, you know, we just unhook the hose and unplug it and hook it right back on. It usually takes two or three minutes, but never a half an hour just to get going on something like this. But we got it, and the, the important thing is we got it. You know, both trucks are sitting out there concrete's setting up inside them so you know we had to get it going here and we did and that's the most important thing all right first truck's down everything's going smooth now so we'll get her now If the concrete looks a little loose to you or wet, it's because it is. We we use what's called a mid-range water reducer in all our mixes, and that's a chemical additive they put in right at the batch plant. You know, we ask for it, and that allows us to pour a looser slump, you know, a six, seven-inch slump, without having to add water. So the concrete still tests out really, really strong, uh, but it allows us to pour a loose slump. So right here guys, what I'm doing is I'm making a wet pad in the concrete. We use these wet pads to screed off from, so I'm, I got a self-leveling laser set up and I'm just checking the level, to, I'm matching the height of the top of the wall which is behind me right now. And I'm making this floor perfectly flat, so we use these wet pads as our screeding pads to go off from to make our, our other pads with. We're also using a 3500 PSI mix that has a blend of 3 quarter stone and 3 eighths stone so it's a really nice floor mix to work with. And then when you combine that with the you know 6 or 7 inch slump it makes for a real easy working uh, concrete to work with on a floor like this. Now for those of you who want to or are thinking about pouring their own floor or your own concrete slab or maybe you want to get into the concrete business and learn how to do concrete like we do, I do have my private training academy, the Concrete Underground, and there's a link for that down in the description if you want to check that out. So I can, I can help you with more in-depth training videos about how to do concrete work just like we do in there. So if you want to check that out, that's down in the description. Yeah, Mike, how long should he stay off the floor before he starts building on it? Putting plates on tomorrow? Yeah. It'll be all right. Okay. Don't drag nothing on it, you know? Right. Yeah. Your GoPro is famous. I, yeah. I found you online before uh, uh, my brother, Jim did my brother's foundation, but I was looking around. Yeah, yeah. It was 
That's pretty cool. I watched I, video. I just did a one on him doing a wall and a footing here. That's what he was saying. Last week. Yeah. 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 Trying to make him famous. <laughs> Mike got a pretty good slump, didn't he? The whole thing. Jerry's not talking The reason you see two inch styrofoam under the floor is because the code enforcement in our state requires it under all floors. Just, you know, we live in Maine, we get a lot of freeze thaw cycles from December to March, and they think that putting that styrofoam under the floor is gonna help reduce heating costs. You know, I, I doubt it does. And the styrofoam is really expensive. It's like $50 for a four by eight sheet, so it's, it's a pretty big expense for anybody building a new home like this, but it's required. So that's why it does help insulate the ground a little bit and make the floor a little bit warmer, but I, I don't really know how much it saves on heating costs, guys. I just know that it's gotta be under the floor. So if you're wondering why we're pouring on styrofoam, that's why. This little round black thing right here is a floor drain. It's a, this is this little part of the house is a garage, so we slope part of this floor to the floor drain, and then you know when he drives a car in and parks it, and anything drips off the car, it's gonna go to the drain. It, it slopes about an inch from the outside walls. We've had really good luck using this uh, vibrating screed from MBW called the Screed Demon. You can see how easy it is to work. All you got to do is just make sure your two ends, your left and your right, are are touching as you're screeding the floor. You know, you don't stop. You just keep moving back, nice and slow, and let your rakers do the work. You know, make sure you don't you know it's not piling up behind it too high or you're not low and. You know, this thing just vibrates the concrete nice and level, then you bull float after it makes bull floating real easy. So, I mean, I got a link for that down in the description, guys, if you want to check that out. It's, it's well worth the money if you do a lot of concrete work like we do. Give me a minute, I'm gonna pull a little high out.
Yeah, yeah, square right off. I just use this. Come right down to here. Then we'll use a little one. The hop is full, he might not have to put any more in you. Yeah, he said it was full. Oh, okay. No, I just let's let's pump out sure. what we can without him dumping any. Ready? Go ahead. Do what? Straight edge? Yeah. Ow. Darren said he only wanted to do it once. Let Eric do it. We all just want to see him bend over. I know, I didn't, didn't mag my edge, did I? Thing that matters, we got it done. Yeah. He can get the kid to work tomorrow. Oh yeah. Right. Oh well, yeah, that does it for that. We got it after a little bit of a plug up this morning, a missed clamp. We got it all done. 16 yard floor. Not, it's not really a very big one. Just a tough spot. Pump driver's pretty new. This is only the third job he's pumped on his own. So we've never used this company before. So they're looking for help, good help, just like everybody is. But 
important thing is we got it done. Nobody got hurt. Now we can move on to the next job. We'll leave one guy here, then three of us will go work on getting something else ready for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.